Hey, my December warriors. Welcome back. And to any of my new viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Akia from December Divine 555. I'm here to bring you guys an intuitive um, energy update on the Divine Masculine and the karmic situation. Okay. Um, we're going to find out what's actually happening in the energy and um, possibly what's not being said. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into the reading. Remember, um, we all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, and um, the energies could be interchangeable. Um, Take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't get caught up and hung up on the genders, okay? Masculine, feminine energy does not necessarily equate to gender, okay? When I clarify the signs, it is what's relevant and prevalent in the reading. Anyone can embody the characteristic characteristics of any sign okay so that being said I'm going to go ahead and jump into this energy here all right energy I'm already picking up on a lot of anxiety a lot of depression a lot of stress um, we have the energy of some very impulsive quick paced action either already happened about to happen or is in the process of beginning to happen okay um, there's someone trying to move forward there's someone holding on okay there's somebody trying to find balance overall there's a lot of confusion and there is a energy of being stuck as well as some very fast-paced communication about to come about all right that's what I'm getting so far. Um, but we are going to draw a mystic moon. I'm sorry, an earth magic oracle to start. And then we're going to draw oracle cards for the karmic and the divine masculine. I'm trying not to these cards get so loud when I shuffle them on this on this um, buffet here I have done a lot of my readings in another whole room for a good six months um, no I'm sorry for the past three months um, and I'm back to my original area long story behind why I moved but um, oh yes we are currently in a Virgo moon right now so take advantage of that um, fiery um, energy Leo falls in my ninth house so I've been thinking very large lately um, doing a lot of focus on big ideas um, career-wise etc we're gonna be moving and trans transitioning into a Virgo moon um, in the next day or so that's going to lead us into the new moon in Libra so that's really exciting um, really a whole fresh new cycle beginning um, Libra season is going to bring well we're in Libra season and I think there's a stellium happening in Libra I think um, uh, Venus Mercury and the Sun um, 
like Venus as well and Mars so um a lot of great things happening Saturn's gone direct um, Jupiter is still in Sagittarius ready to drop some beautiful gems on everyone um, as we lead into the end of the year um, a lot of cycles ending and karma being dealt and reviewed and um, Libra season is going to really cultivate a lot of justice and a lot of um, balance okay so we're gonna go ahead and ask for some help. All knowing source, divine spirit, archangels, Raphael, Gabrielle, um, Gabriel, Uriel, Ascended Masters, 5D and above, and Ancestors, 5D and above. Allow me to be a channel for truthful, clear, and precise messages for the collective. Allow me to um, get into the energy of the Divine Masculine and his karmic situation. Thank you. So let's get a Earth Magic card and see what that is going to, what kind of wisdom that's going to uh, bring to this reading. One Earth Magic Oracle card, please, for... I do not know why I knew this card was going to show up somewhere. This is on the bottom of the deck, but this card is all about, you know, integrating, um, changing your karma by um, integrating your, your, your shadow and your light side and um, really stepping into your calling and your power and almost... accepting the call in your life and doing the work on yourself to change the karma that is in your DNA that goes back generations. Being called to step into your power and literally change your destiny and a destiny of a whole generation of people. It's, it's just amazing. Um, but, you know, Saturn has gone direct and this is really a fascinating time. I mean, like, literally, what a time to be alive because people talk about New Earth, but somebody's being called to step up to the plate and change their karma and the karma of a whole bloodline okay the card that the divine masculine and his karmic got for this reading is dragonfly emergence okay so let's see what this says here number 50 breaking down to a five Power moment or divine change. Very interesting. There's definitely something dramatic about to occur in this situation. Um, yeah, there's something about to come forth. Emergence. There we go. Okay. My lighting is so bad. Let's see if I can breathe as clearly. Well, if I can even see it. Okay. It says, Dragonfly Emergence. In the stages of the life cycle of a dragonfly, once the egg is laid upon a floating plant or dropped into the water, it generates. I'm sorry, it just dates, hatches, and may remain for up to four years. In this larval form called a nymph, 
This is a precursor to the dragonfly. Dragonflies skip the cocoon stage, moving from egg directly to nymph. At some point, the nymph climbs onto a rock or leaf and there emerges, emerges from its former body and takes on the shape and character of the adult dragonfly. This radiant being then proceeds to illuminate our eyes and hearts as we witness its dramatic colors and magical dance along the surface of the water. In this card, we see a nature goddess, like the dragonfly, emerging from the water, her hair braided with vines dotted with flowers. She is surrounded by dragonflies and is one with the vibrant plant, life thriving in the pond. The goddess emerges from her gestation in the water transformed with a renewed sense of power and purpose. You are in an intense process of emergence into the next cycle of your life. Unlike more gradual shifts in awareness, you have experienced this Unlike more gradual shifts in awareness you have experienced, this one is happening quite rapidly and came on somewhat unexpectedly without any pauses for contemplation or indecision. You may even think that you are unprepared for such a dramatic change in your life, yet you are prepared and can put to use the experiences and wisdom you have accumulated up to now. Life is demanding that you move into the next stage of maturity. This requires you to adjust your thinking about yourself, others, and your community. It calls for you to shed yet another layer of your ego-filled defenses and let go of any illusions of being less than who you are. This period of emergence is one of broadened consciousness and heightened perception and perceptual capabilities. And since it is inevitable, it is best to surrender to the flow and allow yourself to gracefully move into the next cycle of your life. Wow. Someone is resisting change. Someone is experiencing an awakening in a way that they never have before. Someone is being told to if someone is coming to an awareness that may be scaring them at this time, um, synchronicities maybe getting signs and epiphanies. Someone is going through a cycle that's very intense, but you're being told to trust and to let go and to release and to face 
your past in the face, your karma, in order to change it, in order to elevate. You are prepared. You're not stuck. It's time to shed that last layer of ego. Shed the illusions or break free from the illusions. Allow yourself to gracefully move into the next cycle of your life. Spirit wants you to know. Okay, divine masculine. Or maybe even the karmic. Whatever situation that they're uh, not allowing to evolve, or someone's not being able to emerge into that next phase of their journey is what I'm getting from that okay so now we're going to draw a card for the karmic a card for the divine masculine blind spot when you're driving in your vehicle and you're trying to switch lanes you look in your rear view, in your side mirror you think that you can go but then there's a particular spot where you can't really see what's coming through your side mirror it's a blind spot so that's why sometimes you have to still take and actually look turn your whole head and look because if not something can creep up beside you and then that's it blind spot there's something the divine masculine is not seeing or something that the Divine Masculine has not wanted to see and that now is catching up to him. Like the car that came out of nowhere when you didn't check your blind spot. This skull has the candle on top of his head. That to me is signification of an awakening. Um, a, a aha moment of some sort of knowledge that the divine masculine is gaining but there's a blind spot okay Let's see what this guide has to say about this blind spot so that we can get into this energy Okay, for Divine Masculine. Sorry guys, the lighting is so bad and I can barely see these words. So that's if I'm reading kind of weird, that's why. Okay, Skull of Darkness, Blind Spot. We, we may not wish to delve there. The shadows, 
the darkness, the unknown. Yet, when we search, we reveal in our powers, it has grown. We may not wish to delve there, the shadows, the darkness, the unknown. Yet when we search, we reveal in our powers, it has grown. The beautiful and mysterious skull of darkness encourage us to look to the part of ourselves that normally remains hidden or as unseen as possible. We may not appreciate or like certain aspects of ourselves and yet sometimes our greatest treasure, treasures lie within these areas. How many times have we heard of famous artists or people extremely successful in their fields being bullied or being so different yet it is the very difference from others that makes them so powerful additionally all of us at some stage of life have a certain blind spots that may cause us grief and trouble although we cannot see the new the issue clearly it is the repeated patterns of pain that may alert us to them symptoms if you will for example the same thing keep happening over and over and over again. We may be betrayed repeatedly, fail at something repeatedly, not complete tasks continuously. Peace and pattern breaking can be achieved by doing the work and uncovering our blind spot or even consulting trusted close friends or professionals to assist us to see what we cannot. Peace and patterns. Peace and pattern breaking. This divine masculine has been in the dark for some time. And I believe this has a lot to do with childhood and very deep inner child issues. There's almost a illness that's deep within from repressed pain, repressed emotions. It says we may not wish to dwell there, delve there, the shadows, the darkness, the unknown. Yet when we search, we reveal at our power it has grown. Going deep, 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 deep within to the past, to the pain, is going to reveal to this divine masculine where the pain stem stems from. And finding and addressing that pain is going to allow the light to shine on the patterns that the shadows bring to his existence. The Divine Masculine wants to know, like they said, Why do I, why do the same things keep happening over and over again? Why am, I, why am I betrayed repeatedly? Why do I fail repeatedly? Whatever you're suppressing from your childhood, 
has been tucked away so deeply that it has shaped every choice and every decision that you have made. It's time to face your shadow and overcome it with light. Shine a light on it so that you can release it, so that you can change your karma And in doing so, you will stop manifesting from a place of anger, from a place of vulnerability, from a place of abandonment, from a place of resentment, from a place of narcissistic tendencies. <laughs> 